class is in session, the professor is in. What's happening, y'all? Uh, we have a boss battle. We do know that it is Solo Sokoa, who is going to be our mystery superstar for the weekend. But what we do to talk about is exactly how we can defeat him. And you have tuned into the top four, which is what we are going to go over right now. So who are going to be our top four, possibly top five, possibly top six? You know how this video type thing rolls. Uh, let's get into who we think it is. Let's bro into it. So first off, what are our buffs? We got 2000% for purple gem damage. That equals, as you remember, 20 times. So we got 20 time extra damage for purple gems. Leech gems are going to do 40 times or 4000% more damage. We got bleed moves are going to do 4000% more bleed damage. And we are not allowed to create any blast gems. So it's going to completely wipe out anybody making them blast gems. And what I think about this boss is that it is actually going to be quite difficult for a couple of reasons. So something to think and keep in mind. We are seeing an increased amount of damage per turn. 5 million per turn with an extra 750k each turn that has elapsed and this has to do with specifically because we are now at six star silver so obviously the move damage is going to go up um, to accommodate more life for us what's going to make this boss difficult is that every second turn you are going to have two moves frozen by the boss and this starts at level one so there will be a freeze starting at the very beginning but this is going to be a difficult one, a 150 purple gem, um, two player turns of a shield, not affected by boss breakers, so neutralize ain't going to work on this one, 150 purple gems is over three times the board being broken of purple gems, you got two turns to do it, oh, and while you're doing it, you're frozen. So you're going to need some very, very, very good purple gem damage, or purple um, gem generator breakers, but also someone who's going to be able to take out this. So having a level 10 unfreeze is going to be critical for you. The other thing that's going to make this difficult is that now, each time you leave one purple gem on the board, the boss's moves increases by 100%. Remember it was 5 million a second ago? Well, now it's going to be 10 million. And this also lasts for two turns, but it can be broken with the neutralize. So if you are unable to win on turn one, which is gonna be a little bit of a task and a challenge, you're gonna need a max unfreeze you're going to need a neutralize and if it's going to go more turns you're probably going to need an exhaust or an, a healer so this probably is the first boss battle that we're seeing the importance of your boss breakers really shining through especially that max on freeze so let's get into let's bro and talk about who we think is going to be the best in each category whom amongst these are our top uh superstars um sort of in each in each category going forward so we have a couple one that i really really like um, is the old bill rieger the william regal um, i really think this moveset is going to do some some good good old-fashioned uh, damage especially with a piper plate because he is going to be making the these pyro gems into multiplies of seven you are then going to swap them into purples and really give them a good smash. Um, you can then reload the finisher. So this move set right here, I think, is going to be pretty awesome, especially if you have yourself a Piper plate. That's going to be helpful. The other one that I think is going to be really good in this uh, focused class, uh, who do I have here? Uh, is Kali? I think Kali is going to be very special. Um, in terms of doing a lot of damage because he's going to be able to hit with that purple gem damage buff right there. He's going to make with the traps uh, a whole bunch of uh, purple gems um, and then you just reload it 
um, with the sub. So the sub is basically just to get it all reloaded because you're making random red gems. Uh, but it is these two right here that are going to really add some extra damage to it. So I think Rieger is going to be better than Kali um, because he's got the multiply gem uh, aspect uh, to it. And I know I usually don't give this many, but I think an honorable mention here goes to Rosie. And I think that Rosie with Rosie's uh, plate and um, possibly also a Piper plate could do some really interesting things, although I'm not sure it has enough to proctor the, the Pyro uh, plate that's on there. But you are going to be able to make Leech gems. Um, you are going to have, with this set of... Uh, you're going to have bleed, so as long as the trap gems allow the bleed buff to go in your favor, I think this makes Rosie very, very special, at least for this one. And then you're making trap gems um, from red. So I think Rosie is an honorable mention, um, but that all depends on whether the bleed goes in our favor. Um, in terms of the chaotic, um, the best chaotic that we're going to see um, and probably the best one for this entire boss battle, at least that's what my stream has said. And also a big shout out to everybody that uh, helped me um, on the Twitch stream uh, this evening, coming up with the top four. Uh, I think Big Papa Pump is probably going to be the best one for this boss um, in itself. That if you run the triple purple, um, making uh, purple gems at the end of the countdown, um, you're going to make leech gems and then the six star move is what's going to uh, decrease the juggernaut gem countdown so you hit all three of these moves they all go off and then you just keep spamming all of them so i think big pop and pump is going to be the next big one uh right there um, in terms of the ag aggressive class um our number one for the aggressive class and a big shout out to merricks um for um showing me this one um, is that theory is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, there is a specific way to run theory when you need a specific set of trainers. One of them is NWO Hogan. You will also need uh, or you need Apollo Creed at 26k. You're going to need King Woods. Um, but if you have those all set up, uh, this is the only bleed that might be worth using for this boss battle. Um, so theory is going to be an absolute monster. So he's making it into the top four um, and last but not least um, probably the best for all of this is uh, Judgment Day Dirty Dominic uh, Mysterio um, running uh, this such a moose set uh, right here is where you're going to make trap gems into purple um, this is going to load your purple um, is having the submission gems that make uh, purple and then this right here is going to create the bleed. So this is, again, dependent on um, traps, bleed combination. So if the bleed coming out of trap gems also gets the bonus buff, then that means uh, that this right here, this 4,000% is going to be very, very helpful. So that would make uh, Dirty Dom uh, the best within this. Uh, this would be Big Papa Pump. So... Uh, these are my top four. You can also put the Rieger here. <laughs> Rieger? Or do we want Rieger? I don't know how we should spell it. I always put the double E. Um, I think these are going to be our top four, top five. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know. Give it the old like, subscribe, and the share. Uh, the uh, Bargain Bin video will be following up probably um, sometime a little bit after this one. So um, if you don't have any of these in the top four, top five, type six that I have mentioned here, uh, don't worry, I got you covered with the bargain bin on how you can not only help your faction uh, max this, but who you can use to make some good damage um, for this boss battle. Thanks for coming to class, y'all. Bro-fessor out.